Hey there folks, Lenny Rudo here for Boat US Magazine. Now, maybe you've already clicked on the subscribe button below. If not, you should because we come out with helpful boating videos all the time. And today's topic is marine charts, like this one. Now hold on a minute people, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Rudo, I don't even use paper charts in this day and age, I use my chart plotter. Well, it may be true that we do navigate the vast majority of our time in this day and age with electronics. However, it's still critically important that you understand at least the basics of a paper chart. And on top of that, what your chart plotter shows you is really very similar to what you see on paper. But before we get started, people, one word of caution. Don't forget, things can and do change. When you look at your chart, it hasn't necessarily been updated to show the latest information. Sandbars shift with storms. Buoys can be moved. So always remember, use your brain as you look at your chart. This might seem a little basic, people, but we still gotta cover it. These are the basics. First off, look at the color differences. This tan color over here is land. The white is water. Now you might wonder, what's that slightly blue shade? That's shallow water. Prominent features on land that you may want to use to visually navigate by are marked with a circle and a dot, like this water tank. Now, as you may guess, all of these numbers indicate water depth, but you have to keep in mind, in tidal areas, they indicate what's called mean low, low water. It's sort of an average low tide depth. And depending on the chart you're looking at, it may be given in feet, fathoms, or in metrics. So you need to know just what chart you're looking at when you look at that number. And then you also have to remind yourself that if it says 10 feet, well, at well, the given time that you're there, it could be 12 feet or it could be 8 feet. Down here is the scale, which you can use to measure distance. All these funny circles are your compass roses. They help you determine direction of travel. Now, right about now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, how do I use this compass rose in the scale to actually navigate? Truth be told, folks, it's really too big a topic to cover in a quick little YouTube video like this. You really need to do some actual learning. What I would recommend is you go to BoatUS.com. Check out our Chart Reading 101 article. It will prove very helpful. But wait a sec, before you do that, there's one more really important thing on here you need to know about. See these red and green diamonds and squares and triangles? The diamond shapes are buoys. Triangles and squares are red and green fixed markers. And these teardrop shapes are lighted markers. You'll also see notes next to these lighted markers. Here it says FLR 2.5S. That means it's a flashing red marker that flashes every 2.5 seconds. Other items you may need to know about to navigate, like wrecks and obstructions, are also marked on the chart. Is that all the information on a chart? Oh, heck no. There's all kinds of other stuff. You can learn place names, latitude and longitude. The list goes on and on. But at least now, you'll know the basics of what you're looking at. When you look at the chart plotter at the helm of your boat, it may have a slightly different graphical representation. But the information you're looking at will be just like it is on this chart. Now we want to reiterate, it takes some real learning to understand how to properly navigate a boat. A quick little YouTube video is not the place to study up. You really need to do some more intense learning when you want to push off the dock and take your boat far away. But we hope that knowing the basics of what you'll see on a chart are helpful, and we hope you leave your comments in the box below.